Good evening all, hope you're all well. Thank you very much for coming and joining us for another Friday Night Live. Hope you've all had a great week. And where's he going? <laughs> <laughs> hope you've all had a great week. Um, let's welcome the guys in. Here they are. I just see that calling me eye that Brian was doing a wander off the screen. Where is he going? Thought he'd been caught short. <laughs> so here they are, Brian and Terry. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for coming and joining us, as always. Um, so they're going to keep an eye on the chat. So, <laughs> well, alcohol anyway. Um, so, um, so as, as always, if you've got a question, please put a cue before your question so the guys know it's a question. And again, no questions is a stupid question. We are here all to learn and help each other. Excuse me. Um, so just quickly before we start, I'm hoping for Sunday that I'm going to be able to give you guys a link for the Makers t-shirt. Um, we're waiting for one person um, to sort their money out to get it, get it paid because they've, they've been busy. Once it's been paid, then the Makers t-shirt will be live, so you'll be able to order as much as you like. So, right, so what am I doing tonight? Um, I watched a video from Wayne Clasper, uh, Wayne the Woodturner, the other day. He did a, a spiraled stem uh, goblet. And um, I've had a spiraling tool for a long, long time. Never really used it. So I thought I'd have a bash. So Wayne, thanks for the inspiration. And uh, we'll see what I can do. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go. So I've got a bit of laburnum on the lathe. I think it's all well, it is laburnum. I know it's laburnum. Um, so I'm going to rough round it. And then we'll see how big it is because it's a funny shape. We'll see what sort of size it ends up being before we decide um, how big a goblet we can make. And I believe Terry's going to read the chat out. So... It's over to you, Terence. Oh. What about now? Try now. I don't know, Michelle just shouted at me from the eleven. Oh my ask goodness. Me show, ask me show to show it again. Yeah, it should have it now. Ask her to show it again. That was my fault. Wait, wait, oh, wait a minute, I'll hold on, I'll be back in two seconds. I forgot to turn the uh, I forgot to turn uh, the stream on. Are we on now, Shell? No sound yet. Oh dear. Yeah, you got sound. I can see it bouncing now. You got sound. Well, Michelle says we're not. I don't really care if we haven't oh, got we're, sound. We're we can... on now, yep. It's okay. To do... oh. it's just to right, so I'll start again then. Evening, everybody. Welcome aboard. That was my fault. I Hope apologize. enjoy this evening. Andy, door 60 was the first in today, closely followed by me and Brian. Dr. Bob's in. <laughs> Even Dr. Bob. Susie, the Swiss wood turner's in. Grandma Ruth is also in. Uh, closely followed by Todd at Glencoe's Woodworks and Norman Greenwell and Gerard the French Turner is also there followed by Peter Kelly and we've got Terry Bartley's in boom, 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 boom. Mickey's in Mickey, Mickey, Mickey <laughs> you're going to get commonly this known to others. commonly known to others is Michelle Ooh. 
Barry's Wood Creations is also in Slithering down the list, Richard. Slithering? Slithering. Slithering down the list. <laughs> Brian Elton. <laughs> Slithering. Brian Eltonero de Madeira is also in. Barrigity. Oh, Brian Liquid Turnings is home. And diddly diddly do. Here we go. Neil M is in. Malcolm Douglas is joining us for tonight. Brian Green is also there. Kev at K9 is in. I guess. Yes. <clears throat> William Kenny, yeah. to be sure, to be sure, to be sure, William's there. <laughs> oh, you're you're going to get a sleep from AGK you're, Woodworks. You're definitely going to get a slap now, big man. <laughs> Andy Ray, GK Woodworks is there with us. And further, for fifth, Robert Broward is there. Oh, the blinking chats jumped again. I hate that when that happens. Robert Broward is there. Did I pick it up in the right place? I did. And Screaming on down to Raymond Wise. Raymond, Raymond Wiz Wise. Can, don't know if I pronounced that right. Sorry if I got that wrong. Jesus, Raymond. Nice to be spelled. Yeah. And it's jumped again. But, so we'll go back and find Raymond. There he is. And looking on there through the chat. We have. I've got a question for. for uh, I've got a question for. Uh, that's it, I think. Yeah. I think that's all the. All I the have ones a question for Raymond. Or in should be in so far. Thank you, chaps and chapesses. Um, Raymond has got some uh, videos on his channel, and it says, says Winnie Lock. The question is, where is Winnie Lock? Winnie Lock? Loch, yeah. Scotland, isn't it? Oh, well, well, a name like Loch. Loch, Loch. L- L- somebody C- like, H- trying to clear their throat of phlegm. Oh, Loch. Oh, Loch. Uh, Loch. I, just want, I just want to know where it is, that's all. Always the boys Come on, yeah, have to tell us where it is. Bondo, where is where is this lock? Good evening, everybody. We've got forty-five people watching, and we started streaming seven months ago. Okay, and no. there are uh, twelve thumbs up. We were talking now, about five yeah. minutes ago because yeah, you know the sound on. But... Yeah, thirteen now that I've clicked it. So. <laughs> oh, you did this time, Brian? Did? Can we? Uh, I did. Uh, give him a thumbs up this time, just for a change, you know. Oh, thanks. You're okay, mate. Right. <laughs> just for a change. Stephen is currently turning a log. He's turning a log, is he? Surprise. Alan Gibbs, <laughs> join us. Hello, Alan. Okay, Alan. Question, 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 question. From Gerard. May I ask the reason why the night live have been put back to seven o'clock instead of eight? They've been put forward. Been put forward. Yeah, forward, Gerard. Forward. It's brought forward. Yes, yeah, brought forward to seven p.m. Well, what it is, Ger- what it is, Gerard? Is Brian and Terry are now getting quite old, and they like yeah. to be in bed by nine. <laughs> so, oh, the wife likes me to go to bed with her. So they're staying till midnight. So, Peter, the pub that, have just joined us. He's, he's doing it early in case he overflows as usual. That's what it is. <laughs> No, I started no, doing it early bed. because I tend to over go over the hour. So I started at seven o'clock, and I like starting at seven o'clock. It's a good time. Yes, if that's all right, Gerard. I mean, when you're retired, it won't matter what time, will it? For you? Yeah, exactly. If you don't, if, if seven o'clock's too early for you, just come back at quarter to eight and watch it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Brian Green's in. He'll still be, he'll still be here at quarter to eight, mate. Never mind. Yeah, but you can watch it from whenever you want. That's live. That's recorded. Yeah. This is true. Neil? 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 Who's Neil? Neil M. It's been here years. No, so he has. Hi, Neil. Keep up, Brian. Richard's just asked, uh, are you, Neil, are you from Northern Ireland? Mm. And Neil said... Oh, Jared says, eh, but it doesn't suit me because I'm missing my nightly French news. I'm sure that I'm sure the French news do the same thing as the uh, English news, and do a 24-hour news channel. I'm sure they do, Jared. Neil M is in Rathfarlan. Oh, Jared. Rathfarlan, that's just round the corner, Neil. That's just round the corner. How come? How come you haven't? We haven't met yet, there, Neil. And Andy Brown. Woodward Learners join us. So say goodbye to Andy. Buddy. Bye, Andy. <laughs> Andy. <laughs> mm. Or should I not put him in a timeout for four hours? I don't know. There you go. Maybe he'll behave himself tonight. 
I'm just uh, just how you say clock, Neil. Clock. Clock. C L O U G H. Question from Roy. Oh, I right, as right. thinking tonight. I as I was thinking tonight. I haven't seen Amy on any lives lately. Hope she's okay. Amy. Hmm. Amy of the uh, the Angelis. The Angelis is. She was in oh, Sunday, she, it's late she? for her, isn't it? She was That's in true. She, she normally comes in Sunday lunchtime live because it's. She's usually in her lunch times because it's too late now at this time of night for her. She'd be in bed sleeping now. Yeah, she's normally on a Sunday lunchtime live. Yep. That's right, Kev. You're welcome. It was nice to meet you, mate, on Wednesday. Brian wasn't there, but you know. No, I wasn't there. No. Too lazy. <sighs> Can't make it every week. Is. You gotta go sleep. You gotta go talk mm. to Mickey. He sings to her at night, you know. I shall my bell. Na, na, na. Oh, you're definitely cruising for a bruising, big lad. <laughs> da, 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 da. So, it's huh. nearly round, and he's ready. We're, what are we getting tonight, huh, Steve? Oh, wait, I have to start a little left. Uh... What are you getting? Okay, we'll get that. Well, he's already told you what we're getting. Yeah, just to check because he might change his mind. Well, this is true. Yes, been known may, once or twice. May, may have a design change. <laughs> we may have a design change. He hasn't seen change. Amy on, on Sundays either, so mm. perhaps she's having a you know, mm, time out, maybe. Let's have a look. Terry Bartlett says she looks like you think she's having some time with the family, according to the posts on Facebook. You say she was on Facebook the other day saying that she'd been shopping with her girls or something. Hmm. So, am I right in thinking when you're sanding and laburning, you should really use um, good extraction or dust mask because it's toxic? Well, you should on any wood, really, but yeah, I know, it but is laburnum, a bit toxic. Yeah. The burnham is more toxic than normal. We're nearly there. I wouldn't worry too much about it, though. You've probably got enough inside you to worry about that. <laughs> I've got good extraction anyway, and I say. Hmm. Question from Susie. Swiss Wood Turner. Ouch. You specialist, William. I've only ever turned dry you. Now I got some very wet you. Would you recommend rough turning it now? Uh, rough turning it, how likely is you to split in drying or wait a few years? Well, oh, I would seal it now. I seal Don't seal turn it. it yet. Don't turn it for a few years. Because you tends to turn when it gets warm. So if you're even if you sand in a piece of you you sand it too much and it gets hot, it splits. So if you seal it and keep it as it is and turn, then turn it in a couple of years' time, you have a good chance. I'll just bring this bit down, actually. I'm going William, to Kenny is, William Kenny is, is also saying, Steve, that um, laburnum is nasty, so be careful. It is. So we've got a little crack in there, so I'm going to do that as my base. And we have this as the top. So what I'll do is I'll put a tenon on here. So we're going to clamp that up in the chuck. Grandma Roosterchip is saying. Go, yeah, go ahead. Go no, you're saying. Grandma says laburnum is more toxic if you eat the seeds. And I've got a little story. I've got a little story to tell you about that. Is that what she when... was sprinkling on your buns the other day, Terry? Yeah, <laughs> when, she was, when, she was, when she was a youngster. <laughs> her and her friend and her sister. Her, her sister didn't eat any. Thought the peas hanging from that tree are nice. Yeah. Promptly ate lots of them. Oh dear. And we told mum they've been eating peas, showed mum. And mum promptly waltzed her to the hospital where both of them had a very nice stomach pump. Oh, lovely. Uh, William so Kenny we'll, says, we'll Steve. Uh, William Kenny says, Steve, that's not laburnum. Is it not? Looks it, looks like much, it looks very much like you. All right, it's, actually. All right, it's you then. Still toxic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well spotted, William. <laughs> I wasn't even, I wasn't even looking. 
Yeah, you might get a split Susie in in it, um, but if you've got it in a thick piece and you seal both ends, dry it slowly over the years, then then you can turn it and the U won't split so much. It may just split right down the middle. It depends on where the pistol of the wood is, of course. Doug, Doug Muller, then, he says... Uh, Hello, Doug. He says he's back. How is everyone doing today? Well, I'm doing very well, Doug. Thank you very much for asking. Yeah, so my Doug. Yeah, I'm good, mate. Great. Went out to I'm lunch w- today. Treated my he, wife to lunch. He did not. I did too. I paid. You're, you're far too good. Yeah, he, took, he took her t- card out of her purse and paid. Oh, no, I paid with my card. She took my card to the till and bought the lunch. I paid. Points for that. I got a couple of nice pieces up to this, to this to Susie. Um, I got a couple of nice pieces of view from William, um, and he he uh, prepared the blanks, cut them up, and they sealed the ends, and the husband cracked. Good man. All right, so let's turn that in the chuck. Let it dry out slowly, but. Yeah, I, I agree with you. It looks like you now, doesn't it? Now it's got the bark off. <laughs> doesn't know. <laughs> well, the one on bark is not like you bark. But it was really dark, and I remember someone gave okay. me a piece of laburnum when I had the wax on it. It looked really dark, and I know someone gave me a bit of laburnum. They said, oh, this is a bit of laburnum. It's been waxed both ends. So that's, I thought it was that piece, but obviously it wasn't. <laughs> Grandma Ruth, you've just put. I need to give it away, Ruth. <laughs> Ever the romantic lunch was a jacket potato. Yeah, well, miserable. Had right? She could have had whatever so-and-so. she wanted. You're a miserable old so and so. She could have had. She could have had beans. She could have had prawns. Yeah, she could have, with yeah, her jacket and potato. And she had pulled pork actually with her jacket potato, which I thought oh, was no. quite expensive to do <gasps> on the list. <laughs> Kevin Nine K said, "Are you sure? Are you sure that's not Holly, Steve?" No. We're pretty sure. I don't no. know why say. I have no idea why you would say that. Kev, did you not she hear what, what did you want. not did you not hear what William said? <laughs> it's a nice rough and gouge, eh? My wife bought me this rough and gouge for Christmas. Oh, or more. Very nice of her. That was. Jeez. She's far too kind to you. She is. She certainly is. We know. She's one of the best things that's ever happened to me. Ruth didn't buy anything from you for Christmas. She never bought me a nice gouge for does. Christmas. <laughs> never buys me anything for Christmas. <laughs> I don't ever buy anything in either, so we don't bother. William Kenny says, Susie, if it's bull blanks you want, rough turn it. There you go. There you go. It depended, yeah, I don't know whether it's spindles or she didn't say. So let's see how far we're going to go down. Is that crack? William knows. William knows. He knows you knows. He knows a lot about timber, that's for sure. Well, he would do. He's a tree surgeon. Yeah. He's been in trees since he left school. When they let him down. Well, when, when he, yeah, when he, let's, let's, let's be kind and say when he left school. <laughs> yeah. Marketer. You asked for yeah. it. Grandma Ruth said I stopped buying Terry presents after he bought me an iron. Cool, if I bought a nickel <laughs> and iron, I'd be wearing it. Mike, you from Hillman's was in. Uh, Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike, how you doing? So it was a good demo at Yandos today. Good. Yeah. Twisted Pete. This evening. Mark. Is it over? Must be. It's already oh, three o'clock, isn't it? I know. You told me it was at seven o'clock or something. I, I thought, mean, it, it I, thought I did, because I thought Pete said he was going to leave at three o'clock. Or was it, it means the demo was at three o'clock? Oh, yeah. I think he said it starts at three. So uh, it was going for three, I think he said. It's only like 20 minutes from him, half an hour at most. All right, so we're going to remove some of this middle. Is 
This is very disconcerting. I'm watching two screens. They're multi- multi- five till seven. Multitasking. Yeah, oh, five o'clock till seven. It's just finished. Let's go. Ah, oh, that's that's a clever idea, Andy. Trick is getting the right present at Christmas is to get everyone to buy their own and then pretend everyone else bought it for you. I just buy mine all through the year. Yeah, kind of stopped doing Christmas now, kind of. Almost. I just buy stuff when I want it now. Don't send Christmas cards to anybody. No. Nope. If and I stopped doing that a long time ago. Anything. What we do now is we donate a fair amount of money, actually, to Children's Southwest Cancer yep. uh, in lieu of all the Christmas cards we would have sent to us. Correct. What time my body says is, I've been asked to do make an oven for a dog. What wood should I use? Whatever you use, don't have one with bark on it. <laughs> Any bark on it. I knew you were going depends to say that. Do- depends how big a dog is. Yeah, true. What you got to hand, you know. And he says, just use the bark, sorry. There's a tiny one. You know. <laughs> Richard Fulham says, use the bark. Use the bark. <laughs> oh, God. That's... Oh, well, it's, it's better than you jokes, I suppose. <coughs> Kev K9 is just uh, just reminded me of something. He says the worst thing about an Xmas cruise is you miss all the family in the day. Never again. I might think it might be the other way around. Yeah, all the family. You got to go, day. Kev. Think I'll go on a cruise. Christmas. Escape, escape on a cruise. A good idea. Yeah. Doctor Bob says you should use dogwood. Dogwood. Burn. It's a bit Very rough, Bob. It's a bit Very rough. good. Well. Right, let's get some shape on this uh, before I get too thin. Yeah, I was wondering about that. It's not a very long stem. No, uh, you're right, it's not. Long enough, though. You've let long yourself practice your in. spiralling. Yeah, I'm only gonna go, well, I'm only going to do a bit in the middle, about an inch and a half long. What? Yeah. No, no. Sorry. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, I can't a copy points. Spiral point. stems are spiral stems. Well, it will be, be spiral stems. I'm supposed to be long and thin too, but that don't happen either, so. That well, never that's, happens, that's, Steve. That's true, that's what Looking Mickey says. You. She feeds you too much. Mickey blames the burgers you have for lunch. What burgers? KFC, not burgers. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Healthy, the healthy option you want for the chicken. I do know. I can't remember last time I had KFC. I used to love KFC, but don't eat that stuff. Yeah, Kev's showing off now. He says, "Cruise to yeah, the Canaries was brilliant, but I felt like we missed Christmas." <laughs> well, I hope your guilt overcomes you, Kev. Did yep. I say I'm going on a cruise next year, Brian? No. Most of Jan is it? Jan- yeah, we know. Really? We know. You're away for six weeks or something. Yeah, something like that. I can't remember. Yeah, I know. We're going to the Caribbean. Yeah, I know. Stop showing off. It's all right. And all of America as well. We don't need. We don't need to know anymore. Derry, Derry. I'll let you know. Derry, we don't need to know anymore. Grandma Ruth's insisting I go. She is. I. I was hoping she'd find a friend to go with her. I'll volunteer. I said then. I've never never been there. Me Me not. Like being locked up in a boat with food, that's kind, that's drink, kind of white, huh? and music, and dancing all day, every day. Oh, it must be hard. Yeah. yeah uh, Grandma uh, Ruth got it absolutely 100% right. Terry would love yeah. being away at Christmas. He wouldn't miss anything. Not yeah, that's because he's the Grinch. Not going to miss a thing. The man who stole Christmas, Terry Bray. Is it one way, says Andy? <laughs> it's a long way, Chris. I wish. It could be one way. Just get off the boat somewhere strange. Stay. Yeah, stay. 
Or like Southampton, you mean? Yeah, that would do. Eh? That's where you get on it. That's where we get well, on it. Some, anyway. But it's somewhere strange to say, don't it? Nothing. I have to say, it's going to get battery when I get to Southampton, just in case it don't start all those weeks later when I get back. Barry Chitty says, Brian, you don't know what you're missing. What, a, a cruise? I think maybe I do. It's a boat. I couldn't it's think of nothing boat. worse than being sitting on a boat all that time. It's a luxury boat. You don't even know you're yeah. on it. It's nice. Don't care. Don't care. Do you know the telltale sign when you know we're on a boat? When you look out the window and all you can see is ocean. Wine dined what? in pampered. All you can see is water. Lovely. All right, we better haul this out before we get too adventurous. Oops, there's a camera there, Steve. Bob the cat. Good one, Kev. That's it. Well, we're going on that one. February. Who's Bob the cat? Next year. Bob the cat? Anybody know who Bob the cat is? Never heard hey, of it. Bob. He's in anyway. He's in the chat. Bob the cat. Hello, Bob. Hello, Bob the cat. camera. It's related in the engine room of the boat. Well, actually, you can go on a wood turning cruise. Yeah, you can. Still, there's still tickets available for that. Hello, little dog. Wonder if we, wonder if we either go on that cruise or me. Um, let me think about that one. Mm, no, no. <laughs> it's around Norway. Not quite like that area. <sighs> yeah, no, not for me. Hang on, Kev. How can you have, right, it's just a funny show. We looked at that for the 35th Caribbean cruise on April 20th for my 66th retirement birthday. You don't work. How the hell can you have a retirement birthday by if you don't work? Who, Kev? Yeah. Kev, you, Kev. Does Kev not work? Oh. No. <laughs> right, so Spindle Gouge. He, he's, he, what it means is he's, uh, he's going to be celebrating getting his pension. That's what he's celebrating. Oh. Yeah. So it's happy pension day. And William says hollow. I'm not sure what that means. Just one word, hollow. What's going on here? Why is that shaking? Why is that shaking? Don't know, is it? And the chuck correct? Yeah, yeah double check. And just check it shaking at the chuck end because it may well be that the spin stems bent. I haven't took the centre out of it. Already. I think it's moved in the chuck because the chuck was tight. But... Mm. It's definitely Doug Miller says a turning, a turning cruise wouldn't be that bad, wouldn't be so bad. Yeah, right, it wouldn't be, but it's, yeah. it's seriously expensive, I think. Well, in my terms, it's seriously expensive. I suppose some other Ruby people clears in. It's... Hi, Ruby, babe. How are you Hi, Ruby. Ruby. Let's just nice reshape that you. a little bit then. Hampton's, Scott Hampton's in. Hi, Scott. Scott. From... Uh, Vizali? Is that Visa Vizali in California? Is that how you say it, Vizali? Yeah, something like that. Steve Fleming's in. Oh, Steve. And Steve. Celia. 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 Strange. Um, we've got 66 people watching. Yay. Good evening. Steve Fleming reckons once he retires in June, he's looking at a 24 day cruise in September. Good wow. man. Nobody wants to go cruising. I, I yeah, just can't lovely. see. Somebody else yeah. does the work for you. You just do what you feel oh. like. See, I'd be bored to death on a cruise. Guys, a party's just joined us. I don't want to go. I could maybe go on a sailing boat for a while. That would be a good idea. That would be nice. And Lucy Bundy Row. Yeah, well, I had a sailing boat. Hey, Lucy. It's all right if it's this. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah. Well, William thought Steve had forgotten about the hollowing. James. Mm -hmm. James Grover's in. Hi, James. I think I took a little bit too much out there. It's a little bit of vibration, but I'll get the middle hollowed out and then I'll come back and once I've got a little bit of support back in the end there. Kev says the cruise is £150 a day, cheaper than, and cheaper than Butlands. I wouldn't go to Butlands either, but there you go. Well, I'll tell you something. Ooh. We took the children to Butlands. Um, it was lovely. They were looking Ruby after. Clear. They had a really good time. Um, we're just about to start hollowing, Ruby, so. I think I took a little bit too much at the middle. There's a little bit of vibration. Versalia. Versalia. Okay. Versalia. 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 Evening, Andy, again. Andy? 
or Zoom. Sixteen. He's back in again. Yeah. He says good evening to you and me. Good evening, uh, Andy. He says never mind. Okay. Just make sure that cruising goes. cruising allows to allows you to wake up in a beautiful place every morning. Now, Ruth, see. I, I understand the sentiment there, but I, I wake up in a beautiful place every morning anyway. Don't really need to go very much further. Yeah, but it's always raining where you are. Not always. It hasn't rained for four days now. Oh, days! Imagine it not raining for four weeks, bro. <laughs> no, you can't, can you? Because no. It never yeah, it's, you. Be, it's beyond imagination, Terry. Four <laughs> weeks without water? No, don't be ridiculous. I'd have to be jumping in the tide. I'd be dehydrated. And Andy's saying, Brian, when you got your first car, didn't you go cruising to the sea, onto the seafront? Uh, absolutely not, Andy. Did you not? Nope. Steve, have you got a steady wrist? That's Alan. No. That would help. That's no. something I haven't got either. I really need I to haven't either. I need a I made a sucker. I made a sucker mistake by taking too much out of there, I think. Yeah. So I'm going to have to force them a bit that out, I think. Oh, we're just, or, yeah, just going to say force them, but it's easier. Anybody out there want to make me a steady rest? Reasonable price. I got carried away with that middle bit. I think you, should, you being, you having the engineering background, Terry, the you should be making three. You should be making three. No, I can't be one for me, one for you, and one for Steve. Don't bother. You do the design, I'll cut them out on the CNC machine. There you go. Well, that's the answer. I can do that now. And we'll buy a we'll buy a set of um, roller blades, and that, there's enough wheels then. That set of roller blades. I oh, know there's not. There's only eight. You need nine. Oh, need nine, don't we? Mm. We'll have to buy a set and a half. Set and a half. <laughs> so some person's going to have a half a roller blade on their foot. That's it. No one else. Yeah. Well, that's okay. I think we'll have to go and have a look in the old charity shops to see if I pick up a set. And he said he had to take a dog for a walk. That's why he was late coming back. Oh, okay. That's fair enough. You're allowed. Make some skateboards for the wheels. The yeah, skateboard see, wheels... Got it. Skateboard finally, wheels. I know. finally, Roos got it right. <sighs> Make a memory with the ones you love. Why, is she you taking somebody else, Terry? She, no, she's thinking of taking her mate Pam. Yeah, I was thinking that. But I'll probably end up going. Somebody got to pay for the drinks. Hello, Stephen. The word dude's in. Hi, Stephen. You oh, is burning. Yeah. You is burning. <laughs> I'll get it too hot then because it will crack. I'll get the Malcolm fire Douglas says it's <clears throat> Malcolm Douglas says easy to make steady rest. Use thick ply and a couple of layers. And the skateboard wheels. Skateboard wheels are not very big and chunky. No, well, they're wide, aren't they, skateboard wheels? Yeah, that's really what I wide. thought. Wide. Far too wide from the thinner ones, didn't you, really? You want the rollerblade ones. Really? I'll have to get some. Oh, I don't really want to make it at the time. Even Gary, Gary. glasses in. Here, Gary. You're late. <laughs> He's not late. He's fashionably late. Here, here <laughs> Gary. Second question. What time do you go to see Richard tomorrow? But will he be like Matthew Lawrence? Question. And, and and Richard says, "Is it is the wood damp or is it burning?" Burning. <laughs> it's burning. It's going to you'll go bang be, him because it's you. Yeah, it'll split like anything. You'll know when he's uh, when he's fussing about comes out and it's black. Matthew Lawrence has joined us. Evening, Matthew. Hi, Matthew. How are you doing? And the wood dude says, "Be careful with the heat, Steve." <laughs> Slow he down. Don't worry. You're going too fast. He don't worry. He likes taking risks. I like, oh, that's hot. I like living on the edge. So, uh, Lucy says that Andy's here too, but he's driving. So you're coming over in stereo. Oh, cool. Couldn't be a better way, stereo. Check your mirror. Gary's leaving about 11, Andy, I think. Andy, check your mirror. Check Mind that car! Even... Check your mirror, Andy. Check your mirror. <laughs> Look out for that pedestrian. Yeah. Don't forget don't your indicator. For... Take it off. Don't forget. Mirror Slow down. Maneuver. Don't forget. Slow down. It's only a 30. Or according to some people I've seen driving, not necessarily in that order. Maneuver, signal, then mirror. Bang. Yeah, I know. 
Yeah, they're about 11, I'm scary. Uh, uh, are you leaving at 11 or do you intend to be at Richards for 11? Oh, perfect. It's two, it's two hours for me to get to Richards. I won't be leaving here till about 10 o'clock ish. You ain't going to be there ish. for 11, then, are you? Not for 11, no. I can't Matthew, make it for, for 11. Matthew, the, the answer is no. When using Danish oil on a bowl, do not use sand and zero. No, absolutely not. Just put the Danish oil on, let it dry, wipe off any excess if it's running, let it dry, put another coat on, and if you want it really shiny, keep adding the coats until you get the shine that you want. Correct. The shine that you and desire. A tip, if it's a really, 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 really beautiful piece of wood, use a brand new tin of sand and sealer because if it's been opened and it oxidizes, sand it will turn it, 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 stop. yellow. Uh, it says sealer. sand and sealer. Uh, Danish oil. Use a yeah. brand new tin of Danish oil. Not one that's been opened in those over the years. Turn yellow. Brown. Susie, Susie has answered that question too. She says, no sanding sealer under oil, otherwise the oil won't sink in. And that's quite correct. If you're using oil, just use oil. Lucy says, we met Mark and Pete from the Twisted Trees tonight. Okay. Very good, Lucy. Well, with the correct medication... And a little bit of rest, you'll you get over. You should be okay it. by tomorrow. <laughs> Probably next week. <laughs> oh, look. Mirrors, signal, mirror, and maneuver, says Gary Glass. Oh, that's getting confusing now. Mirror, signal, maneuver, is, is, that's how it is. Use your mirror, indicate what you want to do, and then do it. Oh, no. Only do it if in your mirror somebody's not going past you. Well, that's great. If they are, well, it may be their fault that you make it. Does Simon Hope, does Simon Hope still make that square hollower? Yeah. Yeah. Does he? You may have to invest in one of those. I was checking the other day, my uh, white stone <laughs> winding wheel is getting. That's not. I don't know whether to replace the white wheel. Change it to CVN. I'll sharpen the gauges. Sharpen the gauges on the old uh, Axminster. Like a pro edge, but it's not. It's the Axminster Ultimate Edge. And the Axminster Ultimate Edge. Huge chisels and scrapers and little things like that. Sharpen by hand. Sharpen by eye rather than by jig. And Sandy, oh. instead of Jig. Yeah, so I don't know what to... Uh, just get a little view. What you like? I need to put the grub scrub on that chuck, because that chuck keeps vibrating loose. Where's oh. the grub screw? Does it? Oh, right. That's probably because it's vibrating. Yeah. At the it end is. of the actual... Mm. Question is, where's the grub screw for it? <laughs> the wind did says, what? Wait, hold on. Cars come with mirrors and turn signals now. Oh, <laughs> you want. oh I must get, get a new, new one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, I've got to try and find the. Uh, and Robert, Robert, Robert screw, says yeah. uh, BMWs yeah, don't have indicators. Don't have indicators. No. Yeah, no, neither the Land Rovers in my and and my um, no. neck of the words experience. Brian El Tenero de Madeira says question. Some time ago, mm. I bought some boiled linseed oil. To make some shine juice, then moved into wax for finishing. Is the boiled linseed oil any good for finishing on its own? Uh, it is. It tends to go hard after a while. So yes, you can do, but it does. Uh, it does go hard. It'll give a hard surface. What do you reckon that grub And then you can oil that months? once it's dry. It takes a long time to dry, mind. I was bored of see all the thin down my oil paints. Did you? Pictures. It's great stuff. I just have to that Is that why ago. oil paint oil paint takes so long to dry? Yeah. Mm. Linseed oil. In it. Susie it says, it? Brian, uh, I often use boiled linseed oil as a finish. Uh, right, so we're going to have to put a cap screw in there for now because I can't find. Oh. The grub screw to go, but the cap screw do the same job. 
Well, good night, Steve Fleming. Steve's got to go. Brian, uh, Steve, got to apologise. He's got to be up at 4.34. Not a problem, oh. mate. Thanks for coming over. Yeah, Brilliant. Start, buddy. Nice to see you. Have a good one. I'll just nip that on the fridge so we don't damage the fridge. Hopefully that shouldn't vibrate loose now. Yeah. A little bit of luck. Yep, so Borderlands Hill is good. Just give a good shine and a few more coats and better shine. Like Danish oil, really. Just takes a little while to dry. Do you know why they call it boiled linseed oil? Because if it was just linseed oil, it wouldn't dry. Wouldn't sap. No, wouldn't sap. And Richard Hillen says boiled linseed oil has a drying agent added to it. It does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah. Danish so, that has a agent as well. <laughs> well, no, he just uh, Andy, 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 he just uses normal linseed oil on his wooden leg. Stops it creaking. Stops it creaking when he walks. He's bored, Lindsay, you know, and painting it dries it quicker. All right. Which is nice because damn things take six weeks to dry. And Susie says, because of the drying agents, I don't use it on items that have had food contact. Well, That's a good thing about that, though. If your drying agents evaporate. They do. So, really, after a week or so, the drying agent's gone. Once it's properly cured, I would suggest. Yeah. But I wouldn't, wouldn't I wouldn't like to use it. oil on something I was going to eat out of anyway, unless it was food. Yeah. Stephen the Woodoo says he never had any problems, Steve, with the grub screws on his chuck. But then again, he does use SK114. <laughs> but I, mine ain't got a grub screw in it. The grub screw went in it. So I fell, I fell asleep there, sorry. So um, that's why uh, it came loose, because there went a grub screw in it. I never use it normally. And for... Richard Phelan says for food safe is your raw linseed oil. There you go. Danish oil, that's, that's food safe. Can you Matthew. use heat, says Matthew, for speeding up the drying of the Danish oil? Mm. I'm not sure you can put direct heat on it as in a blow lamp. No, I, I wouldn't use heat. No, is Danish oil not farmable though? I, I would think so. Agent solvents in it, yeah. Because if you leave a tissue closed up without drying, that might catch light because the the inter the combustion. It can, yeah, it yeah, can spontaneously combustion. combust. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't be using heat to dry. Um, keep it in a warm environment, maybe, but uh, certainly don't use heat, like a, a hot air gun or something. I wouldn't be using that. It's the mm. kind of thing you just have to take the time it takes. Do it one night, come back to it the next night. Right. Or one day, do it. Andy says, it's very rare to get actual boiled linseed nowadays. The chemical drying these are used instead now. Just use nah, normal linseed not. on boiler. Just go into an art shop and ask for a bottle of boiled linseed oil. Give you right away. And Paint Doug it. Miller says, pure linseed oil is highly flammable. It is. Don't sure they it use, is. Didn't they used to use linseed oil in when they used to do window puttying and all that. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, use it in the, in the putty yeah. to soften it up. Do you? No, you use it, it stays in The putty yeah. stay, stays soft so, for years and years and years. It just puts a skin on it. Yeah. You use it on uh, cricket bats and stuff as well, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Didn't see it all before you go out and play cricket. John Scarborough's in. Hello, John. Oh, right, John, how, how you doing? doing? Evening, mate. Kev always burns his tissues his, his tissues after he puts oil on it in the barbecue. I suppose the food tastes a bit funny though, doesn't I it? Say, well, mate, your burgers yeah. taste a bit tainted. <laughs> <laughs> burgers are tainted. Gas and charcoal is usually the better way. Right, Joe Senior Hi, Hi, Joe. Joe. Hello, Joe. Good evening, Joe. 
Did you forget we were starting at seven o'clock, Joe? Ah, she's just woke up. She's retired now, as is Glenn. She just woke up. <laughs> they are, both. Right. Well, the boy says, I used reverse on the lathe yesterday for the first time, trying to sand, and found the wood was smoother when I used 120 grit. Would it have been smoother if you turned it the other way? It have been smoother if you'd gone to 400. Yeah. Right, so let's put a little bit of sand and sealer in there. Well done for taking that risk then. Sand in. Did you tighten the grub scrub, Roy? I'm not convinced I've ever used my weight. No, I, did. I tried to, I tried to, I tried to hollow one to backwards. Didn't like it. Felt really awkward. So I haven't done it since. I'll tell you something. If you're trying to get just in underneath a lip of something, yeah, it's really difficult to get across the lathe if you if you don't turn the headstock. Because it's it's easy to pop it in reverse and just get that little bit out by going across the tool rest. Yep. It's lovely. It it just feels really awkward. It feels like it is doing awkward, something wrong. But, you know, like, it, it does. Uh, it does help. Yeah, because it's not I've natural, seen, is it? That's not the way you've no. used to do it. I've seen, I've seen Keith doing it. Keith does it a lot. Yeah. Hodge Podge Woodworks in. Yeah. Hi, Robert. Hi, Robert. So a little bit of a right me. little bit of Yorkshire William, grit. William Kenny is suggesting uh, is telling us that all oil finishes are flammable uh, when they get enough heat. Absolutely. Right. So it's an oil at the end of the day, it's gonna combust. Yeah. We do has gotta go cook. See that Mick? His former governor of California once said, I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Arnie. So I'm just gonna use the Yorkshire grit original inside here just to Yep. Like Grandma Ruth says, she used, uh, she said, I would think lots of oils and creams are likely to, be, to to combust. She had a patient once, who, Ruth being a nurse, by the way, you didn't know, who was asked, who was asked not to smoke after we applied the cream to her legs, but she used it. And one day she burned herself. Be careful. <laughs> So the answer is, don't smoke if you've got cream on your legs. And, and uh, Robert of the, the hodgepodge variety has took us right back to the toilet again. He says, it's about <laughs> as awkward as wiping with your non-dominant hand. Thanks for that, Robert. That's a picture I didn't really need to see. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're ambidextrous, Robert, Robert, it doesn't matter. Does I it? am ambidextrous. Don't mind. Say a word. Hello, word. I can turn with either Wilson. hand, but I prefer Wilson's to use in. my right hand. Hi Ward. Hi Ward. How the devil are you? There's too many to list. There's only 67 John, people watching. John, Ward, get on with it. Come on. John Scarborough's Stop Chinese easily. heater arrived today. Woo Next Good couple man. of days, it will be fitting that. It'll be a nice warm workshop. Good man. Good man. I had my heater on today. I think I might get another one actually. I'm sitting in the workshop playing with the vase I turned the other night. Finished off the hollowing, uh, the uh, sanding and stuff on the inside. So the inside is now nice and pristine. And I have a design drawn on the outside. That's all ready for said video. Uh, oh, Wednesday. A little bit of the, the drawing as well. So. All right, so a little Richie, bit of... Richie, little, that's what little, Jim, Joe's singing. Is it? A little bit of wax just to finish inside of this. I was thinking of getting another Chinese eater. So kind of one in my art studio. So you should. Yeah, wait until your back goes, then it's awkward no matter which hand you use. Which hand you use. Yeah, yeah indeed, Andy, I know what you mean. Yeah, you, you scrape yourself across the floor, Andy, it's all right. <laughs> Gary Glass says you didn't need to hear today, Brian. Temperatures in double figures, four point five. Four point five. I don't think that counts as double figures, Gary Glass. <laughs> four point five. The Laker style. Double what it was. 
<laughs> all right, so that's the inside done. So now we'll get a bit nice. of get a little bit of support nice in there. Get my, my tennis ball on there, so we can get a little bit of shape. Give it a little bit of stability to give it a little bit of shape. So we'll use that one, I think. Yeah, right, had his heat right today. Anyway, mate. So he did. Get right, and right. On, yeah. it, was, it was really cold here today. Michelle had the heating on in the house. Right. So now we can. All red camera, Steve. Please. Give it a little bit of a Jump. shape now. Gerard, the French wood turner, says, uh, I don't need a heater. I have a mechanics padded overall. Uh, is that to go with your padded cell, Gerard? Gerard's only got about 37 days to go, I think. He's retired. Maybe not even 37 now, is he? No, 35. Go on, Gerard, tell us. Give, give us a countdown. Yeah, John Scarborough's uh, bemoaning the fact that the heaters have gone up a bit now. He couldn't get one for under £150. That's, yeah. that's correct. That's the trouble, isn't it? Yeah. And and they were all they were pretty well sold out for a while there. I personally have on his back. Go on. Go on, you're right. Kev's having his back microwave tomorrow, apparently. Tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. That's oh, to solidify the nerves so the pain free. Oh, cool. Microwaved. Microwaved. Dances with aardvarks is just joining us. Oh, I... Good evening, sir. How are you? Sorry. I have forgotten your name. I apologise. Dances with aardvark has got 100 subscribers and he's got nothing, has no content on his channel. That's not good. Hmm. DWA, we'll just have to call him unless he tells us what his name is. DWA. What has Ruth said now? Nothing. Ah, uh, Terry said he's going to get one of those electric blanket coats. What a snowflake. <laughs> I really don't care as long as it keeps me warm. There was a bloke at there was a bloke at the demo the other night. He had one of those um heated body warmers on. All right. And I said to him, I said, You cold, mate. I said, You cold, mate. Battery. Sure you know. Yeah, it's, it's got like a little re rechargeable pack that's in one of your pockets. Get on. <laughs> DW said uh <laughs> I nearly had 200 at one point. I must be slacking. No, I must stop slacking. Get some videos done. Get on with it. Callum oh. turns in. Oh, yeah. Callum, he says his heater was 89 pounds in November. Yep. Now it's yeah. 175. Yeah, they've all gone up in price. They obviously made hey. a killing. Oh. Oops. Kev says, apparently, uh, the microwaving turns liquid in the nerves solid. I think it means solid. So they can't transmit the electrical pain signals. Hmm. Interesting. Make sure they get the right spot then, Kev. Yeah, indeed. You know. They can be real precise with microwave, though. Yeah, our Gerard's got it. Look, 29 yeah, yeah. days, 20 hours, 5 minutes, 32 Seconds, 31, 30, 29. <laughs> ah, well, Gerard. Good man, Gerard. We're all looking forward. We're all going to celebrate that day. We're all going to celebrate the weekend. <sighs> 29 days to go. I, d I did tell you it would pass quickly, Gerard. I remember Gerard was saying, I've only got 174 days to go. <laughs> now it's <laughs> 29. The day is now, set for the 26th of February. It, the question is, if we're going to try and spiralize, spiralize, is that even a word? Um, uh, is now. Spiralizer. If we're going to spiralize. Spiralizer. Yeah, okay. If we're going to spiralize a stem, how thick do we need to start with? 
Well, I don't want to be too thin, do I? I don't want to be fucking... About half. You want about half that thickness of the moment. Yeah, I don't want to be... Make it too... look right. I don't want to be too thin. Ruby's in the chat, maybe she'll tell. You want to make it look right first before it's, you spiralise it. I've never tried to spiralise a stem in a goblet, so any portion advice portion. would be accept, would be lovely and acceptable. So anybody out there who knows, gives a shout there. Well, what I would think, if it's thin, then I would put a piece of timber in one of the bars, underneath the bar of the front, and pull it forward so it just touches the work. So you can't push it, and then you push your spiralers against it. And you go oh, down. I see what you mean. Oh, like, That's like your hand-held steady rest. Yeah, like kind of putting your hand behind it when you're using the skew yeah. on us. On a finial or something. Do, 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 do. Gerard was there in 1974. Uh. And Kev says it's a new procedure as the injections have stopped working. Oh, God. Mm. Simon Snewing is in, as is Roger Kent. Who is Simon Snewing? That's a new, new name on me, too. Lots of new names no. this evening. You'll find out, no doubt, Brian. I'm just having a look. Simon has a channel. Um, work music. There's a video that's in there. Oh, it's... Complete oboe concertos. Full album. 2 hours and 45 minutes. That might be interesting. I like the sound. I quite like the sound of the oboe. Simon's new, he says. Well, welcome aboard, Simon. Absolutely, 100%. All right. Well, it's Grain Chill, then. No, that's... Uh, Not me. Uh, Al Benoni, complete oboe concerto. Uh, seven and nine, it says. I may have a little listen to that later. I'll leave that up there. Excellent. That's what he listens to when he's turning. Very good, Simon. Like about a culture. How many, how many subscribers has Simon got? Simon uh, hasn't got any. He's oh, got a wait a, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have to go back a page because I went... Uh, no, he hasn't got any subscribers. He's got a wood turning channel. No, he's he got a channel. He does, he's, and he, has wood, he does wood turning. But he has no wood turning videos on his channel. Currently. You can shut up, Mickey. Chris from Bailey's Woodworks is in. Hi, right, Chris. Bruce put yeah, further back. It. She says, we've got a smart meter fitted. Terry's obsessed yeah, yeah, yeah. by it. Oh, I'm sure he has. She was put the kettle on. I started whinging, she said. Blah, 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 blah. You know, the usual rubbish. And then uh, watching the electric. And Mickey's just said, watch it when the lathe goes on. Ugh. I should disconnect it then. <laughs> <laughs> Simon just said, not sure what a spiral stream is, or steam is, but do you mean, did you mean stem? <laughs> I, think, I think you did, but Steve's, Steve's not what you were known as um, very good at spelling. I reckon uh, about half of that thick, Miss Steve. Make it proportionate. What's that, about 20 mil that so far? Yeah, I reckon so. I don't want to go too thin because of um, the head on it is quite big. But Malcolm Douglas agrees that the oboe is a beautiful instrument. It is indeed. Mm. I'd like to be able to play the clarinet, you know. Uh, you drink enough you clarinet? Know, you know, it's not a clarinet. What is it? Was it? Is it? No, it's not a clarinet. Clarinet, uh, liquor yeah. stick, we call them. Um, I can't remember. Is it clarinet? Clarinet's the one that you the, you get the bits of wood, the, the um, sort of cone shaped pieces of wood. No, not that one. Turn. No, not that one. Um, saxophone. Oh, yeah. saxophone. Saxophone. So I'd like to play. The sexy phone, you mean? Oh, I like to play the saxophone. I was, I was nearly bought one of the others, actually. I said, Richard, I'll buy that. She said, no. No. 
She was just right. I remember when I was a youngster, I used to play in an orchestra. Mandolin. Oh, oh no. Ruth says she's going to be watching a smart meter next time you go to the shed. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it with me. She won't yeah. Be I'd, be, I'd be putting a brick through it. <laughs> I refuse to have one. How can something that uses electricity save you money? Gary Glass says I'd like to play the triangle. I'll make you one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, well, what's the question? The spiral. Yeah, question, question. Right. When are you doing the spiral? He, he's going to try it at the right diameter. Well, he's just about to try and finish off that stem with a skew, and then he'll make a spiral. <laughs> you so funny. I know. <laughs> We're joined by Barry. Says Lady Sax is brilliant. I know. Let's go first. Lady Sax. Uh, Doug Miller's son's an excellent sax player. Oh, you know, there you go. Like that. What's this Kevin in k says, uh, I played the other day with a recording a turning video with terrible light flickering all the way through it. Hmm. Do you think it's a 50 hertz light or a 60 hertz recording interferes? Hey. One or the other. What kind of lights do you have in your, in your workshop, Kevin? Is the first question. If you got flickering, that's the that's nothing to do with interference, is it? That's the the camera is not going fast enough to pick to with the frequency of the light. So if you check your if you're in OBS and check the frequency of your light, no camera. The, the frequency in the OBS should be set to fifty hertz because that's the electricity it's, frequency. It's, the el electricity is uh, electricity is sent down the power lines in this country at 50 hertz. 50 hertz. In America, it's sent down the, the power lines at 60 hertz. 60s. That's speed. That's the speed. It's going. So um, you should set all your, your um, cameras, etc., to 50 hertz in this country and the UK and Ireland. Um, but sometimes, if your camera is too close to an LED light, that will cause frickly. Flickering. I have Bob one Cooper under my in. I have one under my bench or just above my bench under the cabinets. And when I switch it on it affects the camera. Because the camera's within sort of Very a foot of it. So you need to watch that as well. But all your cameras should be set at fifty. Um, yep. to give you the best uh, and that's in the UK camera. guys. That's in the in UK. The UK yeah. Sixty in America. No. Kev says, uh, other way around, Steve, 50 hertz camera, 60 hertz. No, it should, everything should be set at 50. Yeah, if, you know, 50 hertz in, in, in the UK, 50 hertz. If you go 60 hertz, then the camera's reading quicker, so you're going to see flickering. Yep. So you need to be the same. You need to be the same. Flo, Grandma Rooster says, Terry and I used to play the mandolin. Did. I practiced on my dad's. He got during the Second World War from Belgium. There you go, now. Yeah. It was good in those days, made, wasn't we? Can't, and I used to read music fluently. Can't read a moon blinking note now. Never mind. One day. Well, if you could read it before and you started again, you would be able to read it. Yeah, I'll go back to it. I can remember it. Hello. Ooh, what's going on there? I'm Andy Woodberg Lerner wants to know question. There, what glue, yeah, what glue are you going to use when it breaks? Say, what's going on there? That's everything's tight. What's? I wish, I, be, done, I wish I'd have done a bowl now. Fault in, could be a fault in the wood. That's yeah. tight. Could be a fault in the wood. This isn't moved, so. Listen to your tail stock, put it by getting it. In case you've squeezed that ball up too much. It's moved here, isn't it? That's what it is. Yeah. Yep. Is that, is that kind of wet, that uh, you... Well, it's been in the garage, so it might be damp. Not wet, but it might be damp. I'll take a little bit of pressure off. Jim, Jim. Hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. Jim. How you doing? And Robert from Hodgewood say, uh, says, I think your lathe needs to be replaced. 
Nothing wrong with the live, mate. Well, it's making things wobble. The lathe, it's not the lathe, is it? It's the bit of wood. Look at that, true as a die. <laughs> Simon has said, uh, never squeeze your ball too much. Kevin <laughs> mm. K9 says, I'm what seeing might, the what? guitar maker on Wednesday. He got mm. his acoustic guitar right for a strum. Good for yeah, funny, that's, he's called Barry. Button, he's called Barry, yes. Kev. And he can't play a note. Can he not? Nope, but he makes them. It's Andrew Hall he makes awesome. them, and Andrew taught Barry. Uh, I've got one of Andrew's guitars here, actually. Yeah, have I? The blues and guitar. Andrew taught Barry. Ball. He loved it so much. He, he, the blues bows. He starts making it. He makes all these guitars and blues bows, but he can't play. Brent Breecroft is in. Hi, Brent. Andrew's a very good player, isn't he? Mm, very, very good player. Rob from Kingsport Braces is in as well. Rob. Hi, Rob. How you doing? I just wonder would it be possible to put a bit of tape around that uh, the cup of that goblet around the ball and uh, and put it on a bit of tension rather than compression. Well, we Good can work. try it, can't we? Mm. We'll try it. Tape it around the ball and tape it around the centre. Mm. No, you have to go all the way to the centre, of course. Yeah, to the, yeah. That works. Try pulling it instead of pushing it. Robert thinks it might be just the camera making the... Fr of frequency that makes the weird wobble. <laughs> yeah, it's on 60 hertz, that camera, that's what it is. Yeah, Rob from Kingsport says it's that FA abrasive you're using. <laughs> Oops. Oops. I haven't got any option, I haven't got any other abrasives, Rob. Do we want that around that? Kevin K says, says he's got 37 and can't play at all, he said. The trouble is, I can't really tension yes. it, can I? Because when I pull it back there, that's just going to pull out of... No, well, just, of course you can tension. That's why you're putting the tape on it. Yeah, but that's gonna, not going to spin there, is it? I need to cut no, that no, but you, don't, no, you just put it onto the revolving bit, Steve. On the revolving bit, not the, not the solid bit. That's what they're going to do. Brian. <laughs> Fred Giller is in it, little Fred. Hi, Fred. Did you take lessons? Yeah. Are you taking table lessons from Mike Walt again? Yeah. yeah. I've got the never how late. to guys. I've got the how to guys. It's guys, not working late, for you. <laughs> Come in when you like, mate. I don't think that's going to hold much, to be honest. It just put, you just put a lot of attention on it. And see. No, made a, no. enough. No difference at all. Okay. I just used six pounds worth of mask container. No, you didn't. That's double mine. <laughs> Take it off so I can sound up properly. Let's just hey, Andy, the wood, Andy the Woodward Learner says, I've got a little bit of Kingsport, uh, Kingsport of Data Brazen. You do indeed, 150 metres of it. <laughs> <laughs> if I remember correctly. Rob says he's working on some care parcels for you, you two peps. Oh, well done. Aww. You're a star. Oh. You're a star, Rob. Care parcels. That's not true. Red... You don't have to put a red cross on my anything. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the needed. It's like we. It's like we're going to the. It's like it's like we're going to the um, the, the sandpaper bank or the you know <laughs> bank. It's a little food bank. <coughs> I have a feeling Steve's just uh, causing this to happen, so is he. Doesn't have to put a spirally shaft on. He get he gets out of it, yeah. Well, actually, if it snaps at the goblet end, the cup end, and he can still. Yeah, he can still spiral the stem. The stem yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm he gonna spiral. Sp he could have a spiral stick instead. I'm gonna get the skew and I'll put a spiral in there for you. Oh, William yeah. Kenny says cone center and a piece of paper. <laughs> but anyway, that's it was a gift. I'm not uh, gonna, I've, I've spent too much time trying to... Uh, good man, Rob. Yeah. Let's enjoy it. Let's not worry about it. If it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. You know what oh. I've got pain in my right heel. I've got one in my right ear. I don't know where... What? I don't know what's happened to my heel, but it's very sore, God. Heel? Oh, that was 200 metres around this Sorry, mate. <laughs> Perhaps you've gone a bit lame, bro. You need to see the vet. I'm, too much oh, standing I'm around. I was at the vet the other day, but I never asked about my feet. I'm going to have to go to the doctors with this, I think. It's fairly painful. You better book an appointment now. You might get in for Christmas. 
Mate. It does. Uh, Dancing with Arbrax says it looks fairly true up until the transition to the car. It does. It does. Up to here, isn't it? Yeah, it's just there, yeah. So it's, it's bent for some reason. It's probably got a fault in the stem. I think, I think, uh, I think that's a dodgy ball he's got in there. It's not a dodgy one. I stole it. off center ball. So I mean, you stole it. It's dodgy. She'll be fine. What's the worst that can happen? William Kenny says laminitis. That is. Cohen sent on a piece of paper towel, maybe. Yep. Might help. They do, Simon. Question for Brian Question and They Steve. shoot horses, don't they? And Steve. Question for Brian and Steve. As I know you have Liz engravers, how do you get rid of the bump smell? Well, I use, an ex- I use an extractor right through the wall. And yeah, mine broke. Me too. You can't, uh, you, you can't do it indoors. I, you I did have it set up in my office at one time, but it's just, and I had the window open with a fan trying to extract you the stuff. You did, yeah. It, yeah, it, doesn't, it, it? doesn't work. Basically. You should not, you shouldn't so, really be using a laser and grow without an extractor. No, absolutely because of the, not. Because of the, even the birch ply has got chemicals in it and the fumes is not good for you. Correct. So I have my own as a, um, I have mine mounted in a cabinet in a like a um, a base unit cupboard mounted on a bench, and then I have an extractor out through the wall. Just uh, just a little um, expel air thing, and it works a treat. Aye, right, Barry Shay says the point will be, will be by telephone first, Brian. It yeah, will be. Neil M. Rags a blacksmith for Cheryl. I might. Uh, so Barry says the appointment will be by telephone first. Yeah, if you get past the receptionist. Uh, Rob saying he, yeah, he has an extractor, but he meant the pieces that you make oh. brown on the pieces you make. All right, yeah, we use use um, air assist. So you get a little pump, and you can you can use something as simple as a little. Uh, Fish here, it's like, yeah. a, 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 an aquarium pump yep. for aerating the, Just aerating blow the air water. over it. So, you, uh, and it, it, you get a little nozzle that goes over the lens, and the, the the air gets forced down through that, and it clears where the the um, where the laser is actually burning. So it kind of helps to stop that charring effect. And also, air assist stops your laser lens getting clouded as well. Yeah, stops the stuff coming back up into the laser lens. All right, so sand and sealer. Let's get some sand and sealer on there. Get a bit of board in there. I have no bother with mine. It just, it just works somewhere in the cabinet. Tez Johnson. Tez Johnson. Hi, Tez. Late again, though. No, you're not late, Tez. You're in when you're in. That's okay. Yeah, you're welcome. We're not fussy. We, you, as long as you turn up. We don't care when you turn up. Yeah, as long as you enjoy what you see while you're here. So, Tez, Tez has got a... Uh, a video up whoops and he's only got one subscriber hi Des so that's subscriber I think that subscriber is me have you watched this have you watched this video then mm-hmm. right. we've seen us try a lower a lower laser power and do a couple of passes. That may help. And he says, it may, yep. Depends what you're trying to do, of course. If you're trying to cut. Yeah, you need to have it powerful, don't you? Yeah, you need a bit of oomph. A diode, la- a diode laser should never run no more than about 95% anyway. Because you'll burn the diode out inside it. That way you won't get the running hours out of it like you would if you didn't use it. So if you keep it below... 90, well, if you keep it around about 95%, then the diode will last a lot longer. Hey, Gary Glass says, hi, Des. I'm glad you're here. I'm no longer the latest attendee. <laughs> <laughs> Douglas Miller wants a link to Texas channel, Tez's channel. Okay. I can do that.
Your wish is my command, Mr. Doug. There you go. So I bet York, like Yorkshire, Yorkshire Grit just on his channel. If you want to go over and subscribe to him, please do. Click on the link. Hit that little button. If and if you've all forgotten to press the thumbs up on Steve's video at the moment or live, then please go and press this. Well, I haven't, press I haven't all forgotten, but almost half of. Or if you're not, if you're too, if you're too engrossed in what he's doing now, you could always hit it on the way out this evening. Matthew Lawn says gout. <laughs> gout. Thank you, Matthew. Thanks, Matthew. <laughs> I think you're talking about my foot now. No, I don't think it's good. No, it Joe's be. singing again, by the way. Oh, no, she's not. Lynn's crying again. Ah, dear, dear, dear. Steve. What? Oh. No, nah, you don't drink them quick enough. No, I can't Pete drink. Pete would have I, had three gone then by now. I know, I just can't drink as fast as Pete. And I don't try to keep up. It's bad for you. Oh. That's looking good though, Stevie. Let's see what this machine does when you press it. Press it. Options. Spiralization. The spiral laser. That might square it up actually. My cup might run through. Mm hmm I'm going to see if I can get it run a bit more truer before I... Uh... Well, actually, the stem looks fairly true. It's uh, up to about stem. there. It's starting to flicker about there. Yeah. So it's we'll... Not, uh, it's see not if... a defect in the stem, is there? No, no it doesn't look like it's it. Not, it's be... No, it doesn't look pretty, pretty solid. You can start to feel it about there. That's probably a fault in the, in that stem. In the wood. You would think so. Kev, I'm not subscribed to your channel. I don't you. believe that, Kev. No, we're not. I don't think anybody's subscribed to Kev, are they? <laughs> Why? I'll find out. <laughs> I've just, I've just got to find out. You said, it was so po you said it was such a positive um, attitude there, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, Kev. Good, is he? <laughs> I'm no, Kev. Put his link up, just in case. Oh. Come on, Brian, you can work it out. Right, so let's use, a, let's use a cone centre on there rather than a... I need to strip my tail stock and clean it, I think. There you go. There's Kev at K9's um, channel. And if you want to Roy's. subscribe to Kev, get over there and subscribe. Go. Roy's half drunk. He says, Brian's just about to open his third Abbott Ale, so he's obviously... Oh, uh, for away. goodness sake, Roy. He's We've well on the way. Way. If you have another one. No, it's definitely on the stem, I think. <laughs> Bit of tension with the with the old uh, spiralizer a little bit. It's definitely a bit better. Right. How many subs has Kev got? Oh, three. I don't know. Three. So three. So this is the tool. I'll ring the little bell too. She's a bit aggressive. She's a bit aggressive. So like basically, I'm just going to try and run that. Which way would I go? That way, or would I go that way? That way, wouldn't I? Uh, run, yeah, run it left or right. Because so, you're pointing that way with the. Yeah, so that go like that point, one. You, yeah, that's the way it goes. Yeah. So low speed. More angle you have, the the tighter your spiral will be. It's not no, spinning. no, no, no. Up a bit, up a bit, up a bit. Up a bit. What do you mean? Vertical, bit? more vertical, more vertical. Like that. That's it. There you go. There yeah. you go. I do it. And. One right, even movement. One even as soon as you start get going. Go 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 go. That's it. Go now back again. Back to, now go, now Ooh, back to that, start. That didn't look very good. That's all right. It might not look good, but they start no, again. No, it will when it's back cut. To the start again. Keep the same angle if you uh, can. Have you got your tool rest higher? Yeah, I think I, so. I would have my tool rest a bit further away, I think. Stuart and Greeley says, good evening, Bambinos. Good evening, Stuart. Good evening, Stuart. Welcome along, buddy. 
tourist a bit further away. Martin Lawrence says, uh, Matthew Lawrence says, is the headstock and tailstock lined up, Steve? Yes, they are, mate. We had yeah. the same problem at the club the other month. Yeah. I did um, check it before we started. I don't think well, that Robert I don't think that's big enough. I think that should have been bigger. Robert is suggesting that you need move the tool rest back a bit tight. It looks a bit tight. Give yourself a bit more room. I think I think I think because that's got such a big gap between the teeth. Big teeth. That should have been a bit bigger, chunkier. But we're here now, so we're going to have to carry on going. Yeah, carry on, keep going. Do you get do you cut do you part it off? Do you part it off? <laughs> well, anybody I've seen doing it, they kind of get it started and then just kind of gently go back and forth. Paul Hooten's in. Oh, Paul, question. Hi, Paul. My understanding was that this That's is the texturing tool, tool. Yeah. and the other wheel is the spiraling tool. Ah, you might <laughs> got the wrong one. I haven't got the other one. I see any. I see anyone I got with that. That's the texturing tool, then I think. That's probably why it's not working properly. That's perhaps why it's not working properly then. Because that's an erroyable, that's a right mess, that is. There's no mm. cutting edge on that, is there? No. No cutting edge? What do you mean no cutting edge? It's got, a fucking, it's got points on it. Just pins and yeah, points. No, and yeah, it's yeah, point. yeah, it's just points. They're points, mm. they're not cutting edge. If you look at the spiral tool, it's got a cutting edge, I think. Right, I'm going to take that back. I'm not happy with that at all. If you take it back and then put a skew at that angle... And lightly touch it, it will spiral all by itself. Yeah, that'll also come at the top yeah. there and stab me in the chest. Not feel it lightly, it won't. I'm going to have a go at it tomorrow. Yeah, Simon got says he's, he's got the uh, sorby spiraling and texturing tool. I have as well, yeah. So it must be that there's a different one for that. There is, there's three wheels. You get three different wheels. Okay. I did. I only got one. No, I've only got the one. The one that Steve got. That's, that's all I got. So you bought the texturing tool, and then you can buy the spiraling cutter. Ah, uh, right. I hardly ever use a texturing one either. Scott Hampton says it looks like the texturing wheel, not the spiraling wheel. I will Google it and check. Yeah, Scott Hampton says the spiraling wheel has a flat teeth. That's what I'm telling you. It's got flat. It's got one flat side. And one uh, beveled side. Uh, beveled right. side, right. Okie dokie. <sighs> That's fair enough. At least we know that didn't work. You get a chance to... You could have put, nice, put a nice text on it. If you put it upside down, you could have had like a, an orange peel effect. If you put it on horizontally. Or vertically. Yeah, whatever. It says it looks like you have to carve it by hand, Steve. You will. Just get your just get your um, round file out and put a spiral on using a file. <laughs> or use a dre Dremel, as Andy says. It's hard to do a Dremel. Alan Gibb thinks it's running a lot smoother now, Steve. Yeah, it's better since I put that cone in the cone centre. Yeah, but nine cases. I've emailed Sorby twice about the other fields and it never got back to me. That's seriously unusual for Robert Sorby. Yeah, it mm. is. Usually um, they reply with virtually straight away. Yeah. Well, within 24 hours anyway. Good, I have to say. I, uh, yeah, I William, would give him yeah. a... William Kenny says he bought the full set. Yeah, I have, the, yet, I have right? the full set too. He hasn't been in the um, box yet, he says. Kev at 9K, I would suggest you give Robert Sorby a ring on Monday morning. Yeah. They're usually really good at, at customer service. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On the good side, says Dances, uh, seems to have straightened the stem. Uh, yes, still a little bit of vibration there. But not as bad. All right, so we'll just... Put a couple of little lines in there then. Uh, pardon me. <coughs> Roy the boy says uh, Steve never did the six P's. Six P's? Preparation and planning prevents P poor performance. Uh -huh. it's, actually, right. it's actually seven P's nowadays. It's prior pro, prior prior pre pre um, preparation. Preparation and planning prevents P poor performance. 
Oh, you couldn't get that head down. Bro, I didn't even have a bit of wood until two minutes before we went live, mate. So well, this, 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 is, this is very true, of course. So just a couple of little bits into that. You could carve a little ball in the middle of that, Steve. Uh, Kev, uh, would you mind letting me know who you sent the email to, Kev, to, to Sorbis? So you could uh, just private message me on Messenger if you want. Um, trying to get on your case. Because I have a contact in the sales department, so if you... If you Give me a give me a shout. Let me know who you contacted, um, and I'll uh, see can I help you with that. No, Stuart, you didn't miss the quiz this month. The quiz starts in February. Yep, we're having a we're having eleven quizzes this month, so uh, this year, so there's not a chance of a tie. Not that it matters because we are the champions, my Oh, friend. here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Never let it down. I just hate to say that, but that's two years in a row. <laughs> right. Just off the web page. Okay, yeah, thank you. Let me let me know what it is you're looking for, and I'll see can I help you with that. Well, the guy says you need one of those steady rests. Just Rob track. says, Rob says, question, question. So, as a drinking goblet. What would you quote the inside of this to make it food safe? The it only thing that you. I know works uh, for making the inside of a goblet sort of waterproof and food safe is Rustin's plastic coat. But I certainly wouldn't be using it on that anyway because it's you. Yeah. Wouldn't be drinking out of it. You and, and you shouldn't be drinking out of it. This you uh, is and like any toxic woods are only ever used for decorative pieces. I say not too thin now. Not too thin now, <laughs> Steve. All right, just sign this up. Oh, thank you very much, Robert and Chair. That's fine. That's okay. I'm, I, I'm retiring from the quiz, Steve. Oh, yeah. Uh, apparently, Robert wants to play this year. As, as does Gerard. Yeah. Well, Gerard can. Because in 29 days he'll be available. There's no, there's uh, new teams this year, Chris Mark. That Brian and Robert, such a Robert can only play if he gets rid of that. Um, that, that, that Harry, Harry Fever. You leave Harry. Harry, Harry, Harry tells I'm him all the answers. My leg. Oh. Cool, I've just Have took it a little a ball bit. in the middle of that stem, Steve. That's a bit cute. You just told me not to go too thin. No, oh, don't worry about Roy. Put a little ball in there. Roy told you, not me. You can go as thin as you like. I don't know if I dare put a ball in there. It goes as thin as it breaks. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> <laughs> and it would, but let us suggest you could glue a glass inside of it. Good. <laughs> Good, that's about Then you put your lips around the outside of the wooden thing and now leave oh, it just as it is. We want to finish on a, finish okay, on a yeah. high, really. You don't want it to break. Do 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 do. 83 people watching, Steve. Wow. Good, man. Thank you very much. Well done, everybody. <clears throat> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> I'm getting food poisoning. But damn, I don't care. This whiskey's good. Says Robert. They you, Kev, they usually... Uh, Rob, they usually make whiskey barrels out of oak. Yep. And they... They store sherry in them for two years, one to two years. That's correct. And they take the sherry out of them, and when it's used, they put the whiskey in. Uh, whiskey in. 
That's great. Well, they do. They do for Jameson's whiskey because I've toured the factory. It is rather nice. The, 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 most whiskies come from sherry. Most whiskies come from sherry casks. Yep. Oak casks with sherry. Yep, they have to be oak. Yeah, no goblet is good to go, Rob. You're a hundred percent right. That's good. Yep, yep. And a couple of glasses of sherry out of it first. To be honest, you don't actually need to do anything with it. You can just drink it straight out of the oak. Not going to yeah. do any harm. The tannin would be nicer to add that little bit of je ne sais quoi. Now Simon says, he's, I'm, only, I'm only watching, waiting for the stem to snap. It's oh, not going to snap. It's not going to snap. snap. No, no, we have the man is invincible. Won't snap. They do flame the barrels first, Des. You're quite correct. But that's part of the hoopering process when they make them, when they make the barrels. They set a, a fire inside them to char the inside of the barrel. So they don't leak. And uh, that tightens everything up. And they send them off to get filled with sherry then. Drink said sherry over two years, depends. They can't said sherry into bottles and then they don't use the barrel twice. Send them uh, for whiskey making. Uh. So just Yorkshire grit that quickly. Are you, Gerard? Yeah, just down the road. Yeah, I went there. We stayed in a place called Yall. Or Yall. It's lovely. And we took my mother with me and my daughter and her friend who were underage. So they couldn't drink whiskey. My mother didn't drink whiskey. <laughs> And Ruth doesn't drink whiskey. So we came out at the end of this tour and they big doors open and you come into the bar. Mm-hmm. And there's this young lady standing there with a tray. And on said tray is schooner glasses of whiskey and schooner glasses of orange juice. And all the orange juice had gone and the people are picking the whiskey up. And my mother said, oh, there, there was a few orange juice. And my mother said, oh, I'll have an orange juice. I said, no, you won't, mother. You'll have a whiskey. I don't <laughs> like whiskey. I said, you do. Just, I'll go into the bar and buy you a bloody orange juice. So they all picked up. <laughs> they all picked up whiskey, and I had to go and buy four orange juices, which is I'm, good because uh, Ruth drove back that day. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> Brian, Brian with a Y have said so. If they use uh, sherry soaked oak, would that be Spanish oak or English oak? I have no idea. Just oak. <laughs> Just depends, oak. Depends where the sherry's being made, I suppose. Uh, Boy, don't know uh, Rob says that I've been looking for a set of small shot glasses or shot glass sized barrels. Well, I know a man who can make them for you. It's a guy called William Kenny who's just put on YouTube a, uh, you? um, a little oak bottle. Yeah. It's lovely. It has to. Pop, pop William's channel up so people it's can just, go and have a look at just, it. Just exactly right. what I'm going to do. And he's just put a comment in there. He said, some fellow on YouTube has just done a video of that. <laughs> surprise, surprise, that was William Ganny. So I'll yep. give you a link to his channel. Yep, give me a link to his channel. Uh, copy. Uh, to so look how that's it. gone now, look. Look how that's gone really wobbly now, look. I know. Yeah, so, yeah. Gee, you're far too heavy handed. You've, you've got builder's hands, that's the trouble. Back it off a bit. Builder's hands. But a woman's so there's, dreams. So there's, uh, there's, um, there's William's channel, guys. If you haven't subscribed to William already, pop across and subscribe to William's channel. Let's see if watch his little, little video he's got, of this. currently got 551 subscribers. So I suspect some of you are already subscribed, but if you're not, pop over and subscribe to William. Yeah, <laughs> Rob's going to be looking you up now, William, so I feel a commission coming your way. Yeah, Gerard, I, I see what you're saying. Uh, it wasn't cheap when I went there. No, it was 20 years ago. It was still £50, pounds, so that would be about six fifty. Yeah, it's just not 55 cheap. euros. But I loved it anyway. Yeah, I had a 100-year-old... Yeah, no, I didn't. 50-year-old bottle of Jameson's I bought, and it was absolutely gorgeous. But then I do like whiskey, so... Right, so... Let's get a bit of wax on it, though. And he says, Brent Beecroft says, Brent says he's, he turned a set of Glen Cairn style 
whiskey glasses for a friend. Lovely. Callum Tom says it's the pigments in the bottle that gives whiskey its colour. That is absolutely correct. It is true. It's true. It is true. So if you use oak, does that mean you don't need to use any finish? Um, Not inside. I wouldn't finish the inside if you're just going to use it. If you're going to use it for an occasional drinking uh, uh, vessel, vessel, work away. I mean, people have been eating and drinking of oak bowls and plates and um, goblets for centuries. And nobody died. Yeah. Well, not that we know of, anyway. Yeah, not that well, I know. Those that did die, we don't know. <laughs> yeah. It might not be Lots of people still them. use wooden bowls and cups and everything like else nowadays. Lots of people use them. It's probably more dangerous to put something on it and then drink out of it. Yeah. But if you want something that's kind of alcohol and uh, water resistant, Rustin's plastic coat is the only thing. But that's, again, that's a two part epoxy type thing that you just kind of paint on. Just use oak. And it's just like plastic. So you're lining an oak vessel with plastic. Just use the oak and you'll be fine. Work away. Do, 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 do. And Robert Hodgepot says, <laughs> actually, Brian, well, probably all of them died except Wayne. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're all, we're all going to die sometime, Robert. All right, so I just need to part it. That's going to be fun. Yeah. And Dez says, if he did die, none of them came back to complain. This yeah. is true, Dez. This is very true. They may have died happy, mind if they follow whiskey. Yep, that's the answer, right? Just sand it up to about 400 grit, 600 grit. Where you go? Yeah. You'll be fine. On my 40th, the staff gave me a very special reserve bottle of Jameson's in a wooden box. At the time, it was 110 Irish pounds, punts. But by God, it was gorgeous. Yeah, it's, it. it's lovely stuff. It is nice stuff, yeah. If you can drink it, I can't drink whiskey at all. I don't like it. I love it. doesn't like me much either. Tastes of sherry as well. Cast into the whiskey from the Jameson's one. I wouldn't know because I don't drink it. I remember when we went to the tour and uh, the, the guide was telling us, oh, she says, these barrels are 90% full. She said, uh, she said, because the other 10% evaporates through the barrels up through the roof and out into the atmosphere. God takes that. God yeah, takes that's... it. Yeah. <laughs> Kings Four Davis has said, uh, question, question, is there a way to make wood fireproof? Suitable for a candle holder. Um, a glass in it. To, uh, yeah, a glass or a metal sleeve over it, but there, I don't think there's any way. I'm sure there is a chemical treatment you could, but who wants to chemically treat wood? I'm not being funny, but a candlestick has been wooden for centuries. Correct. Uh, I mean, the heat goes up, not down. That's Only the wax goes on. The wax is not hot enough to catch set light to a piece of wood. wood yeah. Correct. And you usually mean, the wax builds up around the candle holder bit. So when the wick burns out of the wax, it doesn't actually burn the wood. So all this, you know, health and safety police, a lot of rubbish, to be honest. I Thousands wouldn't go as far to say it's a whole lot of rubbish. With the rubbish, candle but... holders, you've got to have a glass. Yeah. Have a glass to be, because the glass has got to be in the tea light holder. So that the metal tea light odor can go in that before it's just, it's just all sorts of nonsense, really. Don't leave the room while it's burning. That's the answer. And if you're using tea lights, you kind of need to use an insert, I have to say, because the tea light is really close to the wood anyway. If it's a big stand up, stand up candle, you know, a twelve inch candle, as Steve said, the heat's never ever going to get to the wood. Ev says, Ed, it's in Madeira, a shop had bottles of whiskey for 13,000 euros. He didn't try wow. any of it. And Rob says, it's illegal to sell a candlestick without an insert these days. 
There you go. There you are. What's that? If you're making candlesticks for sale, it's illegal to sell them without uh, an insert. Apparently. I, I mean, I don't know the law on that. No. Making them for yourself, who cares? Just stick one of those little brass yeah, candles. Right, Rob, you, you, you keep asking the questions, buddy. We're quite happy to try and answer them. We might be pretty full of rubbish, but we'll try. William Kenny says, Jameson's is the fillet of Irish whiskey. It is one of the best Irish whiskies, yeah, absolutely no doubt. Well, it's my favourite whiskey, actually. There is a, but there's a new one from coming from Clonakilty whiskies, uh, which... Uh, it is, for my taste, better than Jameson's. Ooh. Fight, fighting dog. Well. Do you see the run? Oh, I've just got to get a little right, yeah. That's it, Fred. T it's T T taste sure. is a personal thing, isn't it? Yeah. Taste is a personal thing. Burn the oh. iron where it is hard to burn, says Brent. Melts, doesn't it? Uh, Richard Field, who's who's is a, a fine gentleman and, and probably a, 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 a good judge of whiskies, says Jameson's Crested Ten is a nice tipple. Susie Smith Turner is asking, "Will you be?" Oh no, you've answered the question now. He's sawing it off, Susie. He bottled out. I bottled it, or oh, I gobbled it out. I have I have stopped partly things off completely with a with a tool. I've sawed saw of everything now. So we're just gonna. Uh... Remove. Just going to remove Roy's, that. Roy's a cognac man. I'm not allowed to drink cognac or any type of brandy. Same as his the apparently. <laughs> Specialist said I can't. I'm not allowed to drink cognac because of it. Opens up your, uh... Uh, Lucy Bundy Rose says, as Pete said to me tonight, uh, and I quote. The only stupid question is the one that you didn't ask. Exactly. And that's hundred percent correct. If if you if you if you have a question and you don't and you don't Not know the sure, answer yourself, ask it. ask it. Ask the question. Don't be, don't other be afraid to ask. Who are afraid to ask it and they all want to know mm -hmm. as well. You can now you can now turn that jam chuck, I think you're trying to say that wrong. So you can finish the bottom of that cup, of that there, that that there cup. Well, how warm that is, I don't think I'm going to bother. <laughs> oh, Lewis the Clan, Dick Crossman has joined us. Hi, Lewis. Hello, Lewis. Hey, Lewis, how you doing, bud? Glad you woke up. Had a good day at work. So I'm just going to sign this hope up you, to. Oh, you've 40. had a good day at work. Robert Brock has got to go. Bye, Robert. <laughs> See you later, Robert. Thanks for coming over. Lewis says, Lewis says, no, Robert. Lewis says, as a, as a long time married, disagree with Pete. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see that point. Mm. I'm, I'm not getting involved in that. No, that's, you know, I've got a wife just like. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm staying there. Go down, yeah, down the corridor. She's in the other door. I think I might have to message Mrs. Golden as well. <laughs> Quarter to nine. Andy says, Andy says, I haven't uh, drunk much drunk alcohol for a few years now. It's dangerous to mix with his meds. Well, oh, it's blinking good though. Nor have I, Andy. I ain't drunk alcohol uh, for a few years. That's Telly. He's good at mixing yeah. drugs and alcohol. It goes great with morphine. Ow. Cheap date. Cheap date. What, what does Rob say about being a sales rep? Oh, I've been a sales rep for 32 years. His default is to ask questions. Good. I don't know unless you ask. My grand always said to yeah, me. Yeah, there you are. My grand yeah, always. Right. My grand always used to say to me, "If you don't ask a question, you don't know." 
Came at nine cases. Just googled candlesticks, <laughs> and it says there is no <sighs> legal rec- legal legislation current app apparently about including a holder. His previous information was from Axminster and Colwyn Way, <sighs> so it's not illegal. Well, from Google, it's not anyway. Well, I'm, I'm, see, I can't answer that because I don't oh, study no, law, and uh, but yeah. You could argue it's, that in court, though, because they, yeah, you could say, I only ever let my candles burn halfway down, so it's not dangerous. Being, as Steve said. You could Steve say that said, I sold my candlestick holders as decremental only. Yeah. You want to put a candle lit in there? That's up to you. It's for decoration it's, only. It, the problem nowadays is common sense has, has stopped applying. Out the window. Flames and wood don't work. Don't, unless you want to burn something. Don't put it there in flame. But having a candle, having a, having a 12 inch candle on the top of a wooden candlestick isn't going to set fire to the wood. Because there's his wife, his teetotal, and has enough jewelry, she says. Result. <laughs> Yeah, Fred. Fred takes morphine twice a day and he still has a drop of whiskey. I'll do even better than that, Fred. I've got a patch on. That's all day, every day. So it doesn't matter. Professional Idiots 101. Who's that? Then? Hello, everyone. Don't Hope leave on a day. Kev Nine Gig Range says, I see most sellers say, don't leave unattended. And that's quite correct. I mean, you shouldn't be burning a naked flame and leaving it unattended anyway. I mean, <coughs> so we make... got two new ones here: like Professional oh, Idiots that's... 101, and we got Vic Freewin. Yeah, Vic Freewin. Is... That's a new person. Anyone know where I can get some Microsoft points? Microsoft points. Well, as in Windows, Microsoft, or? He's no professional idea. idiots 101. No idea. Brian. I've just had a look at Vic. Um, he's got a couple of playlists on his channel, but that's all no subscribers. All right, I think we're there. Turn that off. Uh, and who's the other one you said, Daddy? That's the other one. Professional idiots 101. That's nice, Steve. Face looks a little bit big, but hey ho. Stem looks a bit short for the volume at the top, but mm. still can't. All right. It's good. But are you? It's decorative. I guess. I'll just put some coke in it and try it. <laughs> no? Yeah. Professional Idiots 101 is not showing up on my chat, Terry. Well, it's on my chat. Just put another thing in there saying, I'm not new. I'm Danny Boy. Danny Boy. Oh, it's Danny, Danny Boy. Old sort calling Danny Boy. I still can't see it. Right, so little bit of a goblet, little bit of a goblet. You haven't blocked him, have you? I don't know. I didn't block him. <laughs> no, I can't see. Not I that can't. You would. What, what's this new website, new channel? Professional Idiots One Hundred One is Danny Boy, and I've I... got him coming up every time he talks. I can't it's see. not coming up mine. It's coming up here. Anybody else see Danny Boy there? I, oh. a.k.a. The name has changed on YouTube. The name was changed on YouTube to Professional Idiots 101. It's between William Kenny's last last thing, looks great, Steve, and Kev yeah. K9 saying Roy's the boy. I haven't got that. It's no. not showing up on my page. I haven't got that either. That's not on my page oh, either. Well, I'm just... See, I am invincible. I told you. <laughs> I'm invincible. <laughs> God, no stopping him in there. No. Uh, it's just weird that somebody's in his chat right, and I Vic can't see him. Rick Fruin says he wants to use his Xbox as a controller for his lay. Anyone <coughs> knows for? No. Don't no. have an Xbox, I'm afraid. Never used one, never had one. It's got to the stage that... Uh, I've had an egg box, but not Xbox. An egg, <laughs> an egg box. <laughs> It's got to the stage now that the military are using uh, PlayStation controllers, or Dr- similar to PlayStation controllers, for firing missiles. And drones. Yep. Operation. All right. 
Well, you look at a drone. Or you look at a drone keypad. That's virtually the same as a a PlayStation controller. So Rob from Queensport has just said, "Common sense. Trust me, it's a nightmare for abrasive suppliers. They're starting to invent pictograms on discs, as claims have been made that they cannot read. Uh, they cannot. They cannot read." Uh, I don't know what I support trying to say there. Uh, was not safe to hang upside down to green. All right, okay. Unbelievable. There are some thick people out the there, health, unfortunately. The health and safety has just gone completely bonkers. No, we need to do. stop all this writing things down and telling people what to do with everything. Um, uh, maybe help to weed out some of the numpties. How do you get to, how do you get a link then for somebody's page in Brian? If I'm on their page, right. if, three if buttons you, at the end. Uh, there's three buttons at the right hand side, Terry. If you just click on them, just go on, on to wherever it is. Yeah, wherever the comment is. No, no, I got that. I'm on the page of the person. Right. So the how do I is, get a link to their channel? It's, it's in the search bar at the top. No, it's not. It just says YouTube. Yes, it is. No, it doesn't. It says YouTube watch. Blah blah blah. So in Williams, for example, it says youtube.com forward slash channel forward slash UC. No, mine just says youtube.com. No, it doesn't. Trust me, it says it. So Roy can see it, apparently. I can't see Thank it. Thank you. No, nope, I still haven't seen it. Strange, eh, isn't it? I'm trying Very. to find. I'm on, on, I'm on the, the channel and I can't get a link to it. What's the channel called, Terry? Professional Idiots 101. You say I'll you find it. See it. I'll find I'm it. on it now. So, I'm on it. Gerard says, Steve, Professional 101 asking about Oak Spindles. Yeah, I still haven't been and picked them up yet, Danny, to be perfectly honest. Professional. I can't believe that I haven't got him. Oh, professional Idiot 101 on YouTube. Oh, there it is. 18 subscribers. One to, I've got one subscriber on you know, I've got 18 years, and you got videos, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 videos. Yeah, that's different I've person. Just... No, it's not. Well, I've got a professional idiot, 101, and it's got yeah. one subscriber, and it's the first video is riding a bike downhill. Bad idea. Oh, no. Okay. Different so person. you haven't got second-hand Hilti, Hilti, a motor long nope. failure? And you... No. It may be that it's just it's is a professional idiot one hundred and one all one world or it's got spaces in it. No, no, it says professional space, professional with a capital P, then a space idiots with a little I, then a idiots. space then one hundred and one Id idiots idiots little space one hundred and one. See, that's not what you told me in the first place. Oh. Always arguing, always arguing. It's just it, it's, promise me you'll book up, Brian. I mean, I can see it on my chat, and so can Roy. So who's... Professional who's, Idiots 101. Who's the one that can't see it? Brian, I'm not saying You just hold on two sides, and I'll get you the, the thing. Professional Idiots 101. It's got a dog as it's... As it's uh... Yeah. Right, okay. A little red collar on the dog. Right, okay, hold on. I'll, I can't I'll get, get the link to it, because it just says it much. I'm channel. doing it now. Hold on. <laughs> well, there we okay. are. <laughs> but, um, I can't... It doesn't tell me, tell me what link it is. You can't see it in your chat. I can't understand why not. I can't see it in mine either, which is strange. I can't understand that either. But never mind. Thank you very I'll much, folks. Up. I'll just stand here with a goblet in my hand and just, look, just you stand down about. Try and look. I would say intelligent. Oh, that's not going to work. Professional idiot one that can't see any chats. That, that's pointless. I can't. I'd say pretty, but that ain't going to work either. <laughs> Did you say you were going to stand there and look pretty? Intelligent, <laughs> pretty. That don't right, work. You're not going to ever look pretty, Steve. The goblet, mate, but you won't. Hey, 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 yeah. easy, Tiger. Have you paid and looked in the mirror lately? That's wishful thinking, boy. It's just wishful thinking. That's right, what that is. There we go. Uno goblet. Sorry we didn't get no spiraling, but I thought I had the right tool, but obviously I didn't. Um, Daddy, watch. Watch, Daddy. There you go. Ears noise. There's the link. What am I watching? So, hey. Brian and Roy says he sent you the link, Brian. Job calls Banji. Job's called just... Banji. Benji, okay, I just put it in. Right, so let's bring you guys Josh back. Here they are. Look, Tweedledee, I'm Tweedledee. Hello. Graham Breakoff says we're not professional idiots. Yes, we are. <laughs> is, is there a way to tell if bowls, balls, or ligmum? 
some of the new the newer bowls balls are made by a synthetic uh, or a, uh, uh, like a resin. Um, I it's but, resin. Yeah. But anything they say twenty years plus will be ligman, I would imagine. Um, usually the colour because ligman's a browny colour. A lot of the uh, new ones are a real dark brown blacky colour. So uh, yeah, almost black. Yeah. yeah. Well done, Steve. Against all the odds and airworms. Thank you very much, Paul. Thanks, thanks Kev. Hey, who's not winning against the airworms? So, Vic says, so Microsoft, Microsoft points. I have no idea what you're talking about, Vic. But no. Microsoft points, I don't know what they are. Ain't got a clue, mate. Sorry, Vic. Ain't got a clue what you're talking Sorry, about. Sorry, mate. Can't help you with that. If you can abbreviate a little bit better, then we might be able to help you, but we don't know what you're talking about. Sorry. So, anyway, little gobbler, not very big. Um... It is in there's them. A, there's a good answer there. Dancers adverts will say a hot needle will let you know if it's plastic. Normal. There you go. Yeah. So it's seven inches long. Top is just under two and a half. Stem is ooh, stem is stem is seven mil seven seven ooh. seven mil on the narrowest point. You got that then. And it's eleven on the thickest not, part. Not thin enough. Oh, no, no, see, there was no call for that, Terry. It's perfect. It's seven months long. I said he should have put a little ball in the middle as well. Oh, dear. It's yes, the, you if will, that, Richard. Thank if you that very much, If that weren't that wobbling right, as yeah. much there, I would have done it. But because that was so wobbling so much there. <laughs> Steve Troy <laughs> Barry, Barry says, says, Brian and I should be on Gogglebox. It would be hilarious. It would be good fun, mate. <laughs> it would be good fun, yeah. We could do that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We don't live together, so that's a problem. No, we don't. No. <sighs> you could be virtual Thank rooms. Goodness. You could be in a virtual room. Well, we could, yes, room. Well, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Vic says uh, a hot needle is also good for splinters. I prefer a cold <laughs> needle. <laughs> don't put <laughs> them in your eye. <laughs> so, anyway. Right. So, thank you to each and every one of you guys coming over. Thanks to Terry and Brian for your support. Always a Welcome pleasure, to gentlemen. Steve, anytime. Um, so, support, he keeps saying that word support, Terry. I'm not sure what he means. All right, turn it up. <laughs> turn it up. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, oh, hold on. Lewis has got a stupid question. Oh, oh, question. Oh, he says, what happened to the spiral stem? It didn't spiral. It didn't work, Lewis. I didn't well, have the spiral until. Right tool. In actual fact, it was a spiral steam, but Steve ah, right. spelled it wrong. So he just he had, had the wrong to, tool, yeah, and he hasn't yeah. got the wheel. I never put so anything about a spiral stem. That was you lot reading it wrong. Yeah, exactly. He said a spiral stem. So I never put nothing about a spiral stem. You just all read it wrong. You assumed. <laughs> Good answer, Steve. Good answer. We know what you meant, Steve. No, 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 no. There's nothing about stem in there. There was nothing in the about in the spare. Yeah, no, like never know said stem. No. So you can't say I I, I gave I you clickbait to bring you over wrong. Yeah, you, <laughs> can't, you, you tried to mislead. He didn't try to mislead or anything. He just. <laughs> Would work there in a goggle box or fright night. One of the two. Uh, Rob says, thank you all. Have an amazing weekend. Thanks, Rob. Try yeah. my best. We will. You right. too, buddy. Cheers, everybody. Right. So, I think we better go. Right. right so, thank you very much, everybody, for coming over. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope it's not been too boring for you. I know it took me a little bit longer than normal. It need two hours. You should go back to quarter to wait. It was only on for an hour and a half then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it wasn't as much fun, though. <laughs> so, anyway, that's what we got. I'll get a picture of it, stick it on social media. Um, you really want to bother? Or I well, know. I will do, before I burn it. So, <laughs> I've actually got a lean on it. There's something wrong with that bit of wood, because it's actually lean in that yeah, way it's, already. It's, it's got a fault in the middle of the stem somewhere. Yeah, yeah. That's so, a bit of tension uh, in it. So, anyway, I will see you guys on Sunday Lunchtime Live. Don't forget... Um, Brilliant. Wayne the Woodturner. Yeah. Wayne the Woodturner will be on Saturday night, as far as I know. I haven't heard Saturday anything. Night, yeah. I won't, haven't heard anything different. Um, Terry will be back. No, Terry's not back. No, oh, Terry's, Terry's not, not here Monday. Pete, Pete uh, is on lunchtime night. Pete's Monday. here Monday. Twisted Pete. Yeah, and then Brian I'm, will I'll be back Monday night. So. I will indeed. See you the Monday after. But we'll tell you all about that um, uh, on Sunday. Further than that. On Monday. Sunday. We'll tell you I'll all about that on Sunday. I might even have the link done by then. Don't forget, people, on the way out, hit the thumbs up if you like what you saw tonight. 
and comment on Steve's video. Brilliant. Thank you so much. And if you didn't like it, tell me why you didn't like it. And then we yeah, um, we can either the down. then we can either Pretty ignore good. you or try and do something about it. One of the two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, guys, if you didn't, like, if you, if you didn't like the earworm, say so because we don't we don't we really want to be here. We just want an excuse to leave. You know, it just pushes to come every Friday. I mean, yeah, every Friday. I reach through the internet and grab him by the scruff of the neck and grab drag him out, in. You know. <laughs> then he's going to the hospital to have his nipples greased. Apparently, okay. <laughs> I can't rob it, thanks for. That's right. Right, right. we will go. Right, thank you very much, <laughs> gentlemen. Good everybody. Good night, everybody. I'll see you soon, Other than that, have a great weekend. Speak to you soon. Take care and good night and bye. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Cooking on, guys. <laughs> That's all, folks.